Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here, welcoming you to part number three of Let's Play Battleship for the PS3. Last time, we began the second mission of the game, and this time we will finish it, possibly also starting the third mission, depending on how long the rest of this takes. Watch it be like this be the end of the mission, that's, that's probably what's going to happen, honestly, because... I don't necessarily remember exactly where these missions start and end because it's a little obscure. They all take place on like the exact same sort of areas, so it's a little hard to tell. Because they all like take place in almost the exact same areas. Just sometimes in reverse. But I know that the end of the mission in this one's at least a solid five minutes away, so I didn't do horribly with cutting off the video there. I probably could have cut it off right before the defensive portion would have been a little bit better. Okay, we're going to grab that, and we are going to keep on moving. Grab that. And we're going to kill him. Uh, are there any more enemies? Actually, I don't think there are. Okay. Uh, let's go into the battle mode and see what we can do. Ooh, lots of new enemies. Uh, uh, Ooh, he's attacking a submarine. That's not good. Can't really fit anything. Uh, yeah, none of them can fit any more upgrades, right? Okay, he can take torpedoes. That's good. Uh, he's just more providing support. Uh, we'll let this one do ship control and see what happens. At least take out one of them. It'll make life a little bit easier. Because I don't want him to die just because then you have to go through the process of reviving a ship, which basically requires you to get lucky and pick up a revive token like as a wild card that are a little less common than most of the others so it can be a little trickier to find but still not too hard like i said i doubt that i'll lose more than one if one at all during this let's play which is good because it's like i said a pretty simple game but i mean like i said it's got even though it is a basic fps it's really short it at least does have a little bit more to it with the whole ship combat thing, so at least they tried to put a little more into it. And I can respect that. And again, it came out, you can tell, it came out not terribly. It is not the worst game out there. I've played much worse movie tie-ins than this, trust me. When you're a trophy hunter, and you turn into, uh, as Carlos would say, more like a Hakum, which I can understand him saying that because of some of my trophy whoring habits. You will play all sorts of terrible movie tie-in games, though I've mostly cut out uh, doing those. I don't really do too many more of them, which is probably for the better. Although, ironically, while I say that, my 240th Platinum is going to be a kid's game, so maybe just credit some of that statement. I don't know. He's dead. Black Ops 2 will be in the near future. I don't know exactly when I'll get it, because this is still being recorded on the same day I finally finished off Tower of Babel, which as I've said before, gave me just way more trouble than it ever should have. I mean, it took me probably like 30 plus tries over the course of three or four days with a certain partner. Now, that did include the failures of not getting the MP grenade uh, fairly often. Like, probably one in every t every other run didn't get the MP grenade. Step in it. Uh, some of you guys might not even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's go ahead and go back into this with our new upgrades and see what we can use those on. Okay, you can use leadership. Uh, you cannot use anything. You cannot use anything. Dang it. So we got these radar cards that are pretty much useless. The radar cards are about the least useful because they just increase the attack range of your vehicle, which isn't really that important. And we got some platforming here, and we made it. Yes, there is a bit of platforming occasionally in this game, which makes no sense at all why they would think that's a good idea. I don't know. They, they did. It's not. That's all I need to say about it. It's platforming in an FPS game. It's like putting stealth in a kill zone game. Oh wait, Gorilla did that. Or putting uh, stealth in the Order 1886, which was, I still remember that. Because I watched a video, it was like, uh, talking about like annoying things. They sometimes put in video games like annoying types of missions, you know, like escort missions, stuff like that. And like, one of them was, you know, stealth sections that sort of come out of nowhere make no real sense in accordance of the game and end up being really annoying because the game's not built for it. Like Killzone, for example. Killzone 3, there's a mission, a uh, stealth-based mission, and you have to beat the entire mission in stealth to get a trophy. 
and you also have to basically beat it in stealth to survive on the higher difficulties, and it's really annoying because the game is not built for stealth. Now reposition to the Xville site and proceed to Nihau. And I guess that's actually the end of the mission already. Find it. Hit this actually. This is oh yeah, this was necessary. We'll go ahead and hit that. Why not? I don't know exactly what that did, but oh right, it took out the shields. So I think there's a good chance that we will end up. Oh hello, aliens! That we will end up definitely starting, maybe even finishing the third mission in this video, because the third mission is a little shorter, if I remember correctly. But it has been a few months since I played the game, so I could be wrong on that. Oh, I hate these things so much, because they're actually a little tough to get out of the way from. Uh, launch missiles. Oh, I am not in a good spot right here. At least they're not very good at hitting me. Okay, let's let them take out all that stuff with the missiles. Ah, uh, that might be it, actually. Just in case this is not the end of the mission, I'm gonna grab these, but I'm almost positive that it is, so... May not be needed, but better to have them and not need them than to need them and not have them. The Yukon, okay, we will go find that. Let's see if that hits anything. And that is our exfil point, so let's run on to it. Alright, second mission is done. So since we're only on like six minutes, we are obviously not going to end it off just yet. It's a bit early to end this one off. Even though we're going to get like a minute and a half long cutscene probably. Mathis, Command Pacific Fleet believes the aliens' plans are to divide and conquer. By killing our comms, separating us with these weather spheres, or scattering our fleet. So if we can reconnect with the Yukon, our chances become that much better. But be advised, an alien turret is preventing the Yukon from rendezvousing with the rest of the fleet. Your orders are to find Captain Franklin of ONI. Lead him and his men through a series of bunkers dug into the cliffside. Blow the scramblers inside the bunkers to allow our fleet to enter support positions. Then head to the turret so that Franklin's operatives can disable it. As long as that massive turret is active, our fleet is scattered and ineffective. Time is a factor. Every second these things are allowed to continue unchecked is a second we just do not have. So hurry. All right then, like I said, I think this third mission is a bit shorter. All right, let's climb on up this hilltop. Yeah, I think this one's a bit shorter, so we'll probably just go ahead and do this whole mission in this video. Or I'll cut it off right around the halfway point, because I do remember this mission a little bit better. All right, so let's go on and start running up the hill. And we got a couple of aliens in the area. Any no? I wonder if there was like an ammo box, but I guess I don't really need it yet because we just started and we got full ammo. So at the start of every new mission, you will switch back pretty much always to the M4 and the pistol. Uh, let's go ahead and start moving our ships into position, though. That would actually probably be a very smart thing to do. Okay, this mission is a little bit more unique. You see this red circle area? Uh, anything inside of that is lava. You cannot send your ships inside of that or they will get they just absolutely destroyed by this turret. So do not send your ships into there or they will die. End of story. And now they're all outside of it, so we should be perfectly fine and our wild cards reset. Like I said, all we got right now is a ship repair, which could be useful later. You do have to be careful with that. Definitely do not send them in there. Uh, that is a very easy way to get a ship wiped out very quickly in this mission. Uh, we could take the crawl, but there's really not much of a purpose in doing that. Just because we are going to get another new weapon in this mission. So, so far we have seen the assault rifle, we have seen the pistol, we have seen the alien weapon, or the alien machine gun, and we have seen the grenade. There are two other weapons in the game that we have yet to see. 
A different water good blah 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 blah. I care so much. I have so many feels right now. Here, the shotgun. This is a very useful weapon. Uh, this will one-hit kill many enemies up close and will do lots of damage to tougher enemies in the game. And we can't get up to that just yet, unfortunately, as you saw there. I will do so, because the shotgun is highly effective. Uh, while we're here, though, let's go ahead and switch back into this, because it looks like it might have been like a checkpoint-style section. Oh, crap. He's uh, he's moving into the danger zone. We're not going to let that happen. I am not losing a ship this quickly. Uh, submarine needs the range increase. And... Uh, actually... You know what? I can do this real quick. I can take I can take this one out, hopefully, or do slow, do a lot of damage to it, hopefully. Oh, I'm not doing that much damage to this thing. Crap, I probably wasted that ship of soul. Okay, I didn't entirely waste it, but I don't Nah, it's gonna be close. Yes, okay, thank god. I actually finished him off. That could have been a bit bad if I didn't effectively use that. All right, so he'll move out of the way. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. So we don't get any support during this mission. That's quite unfortunate. Until later on, at least. So let's run on in with the shotgun and hope that I don't die quickly in the process. So we killed him instantly from pretty long range. So yeah, shotgun a little more limited on the ammunitions. And very slow to aim, and that's going to end up getting me killed. Yeah, I sort of saw that coming. I mean, it just... The aim in this game is not good. That is one thing that I really do need to complain about. It's so slow and so clunky, pretty much no matter what you do. All right, then, that is our second death so far. We are on the second hardest difficulty, but that's really not saying much for this game, so that's a little bit embarrassing that I've died twice so far on that difficulty. I really should not be. Back up. Pick up. I probably really should have just taken that a little more cautiously and would have been fine. And I guess that means I lost the ship assault as well, so that's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, put the shotgun to work. We don't have all day. Or you could maybe help a little bit. I mean, that would be kind of cool if you wanted to do that. Okay, let's kill him off. I don't think these guys are, like, infinite spawning, though, so it's probably better that you take him out. Now, Peg Bomb! Shotgun also fires pretty slowly, and that one did not kill him in one hit. They usually do, at least up close like this. Or they do if you get him, like, in the right spot. Not always. Oh, uh, we got ammo crates in here, and we got another assault rifle. Great. And now that we did that, let's go ahead and go back to ship combat. Okay, he's going to be in a really bad spot, so I'll move him out just so we don't take any risk. And we will use ship control again just to be safe, you know. If I can not miss entirely on my first shot when it actually do some damage at first. And I think we're going to have it. Yeah, we got him. Usually that's going to be enough to take out any ship provided you can use it quickly. So that's usually not going to be much of a problem. Uh, so he'll move out of the way. Uh, we'll improve his armor. We'll give radar to the sub. And the torpedoes to the sub. And we'll give the Chesapeake the leadership. Okay, we did that. Uh, okay, you're friendly. I almost shot at you because you looked a little bit like the alien. Okay, so in that section, you're just going to get, like, hammered from the wa from the water, so. Well, I did it this way because I felt like it, so. Screw you, whoever is trying to help me, even though I definitely appreciate your attempted help. Because I almost died there and probably would have died on the highest difficulty, so I guess I appreciate the help. I mean, there it's just you get killed by those, like, by the ship that's there and shooting at you. That's really the only issue with that. That's obviously what's hitting you if you really look at it. Uh, okay, they're all good, so I can go ahead and plant the charge. 
And we have to run away. You only get five seconds. And there's this guy up here, too, camping out. So we'll get him in a second. Was Mathis even the name of the character from the movie? I don't even know. Like I said, I've never been able to sit through the whole thing in a single sitting. Ooh, one of the ships is starting to take a bit of damage. Can I get to that? I hope I can because I can use that. Good. Definitely helpful. Uh, we'll put this out. Shredders, that's never a good thing. Uh, where's the shredders at? Behind me. Great. Okay, I really need to get a ship into a support position, but I mean, like I said, that stupid turret's going to be in the way and make this a lot harder. Okay, this one's kind of losing its health a lot, so do that. Uh, give the submarine torpedo and move the submarine into this position so it can't take it anymore. Move you into that position. And he will stay there for now. Oh yeah, I have to destroy that, don't I? Oh great, and I don't have a I don't have a vehicle that can take that out instantly. I will have to wait, so let's just wait a second, cause they gotta move into position and so oh, oops. That must be from a later mission, because we come back here later on. Submarine yeah, the submarine's useless anyway for a support position, so the missile launcher is good though. Alright guys, given what's coming up, uh, we still got a, probably 10 minutes or so in this mission, especially with the cutscenes and stuff, so next time we will continue through and finish Mission 3. It'll be the last video I record in my first session, so see you guys then.